Kelly Clement here from Metastop. In this video, we're going to be talking about some of the settings you can use before you open up a chart. Some of the customizations that you can do before you even open up a chart, really. So let's go ahead and go into the Power Console. And here, what we're going to do is we're just going to type in a symbol that we're going to open. So we'll just type in Best Buy here, oh, maybe Y, Best Buy. And now what we're going to do is just look at this box over here on some of the settings that we can change before we open up a chart. So first of all, we have what's called display range. Display range is how much data is going to be loaded, zoomed in on at a chart when you first open it. Now this is different than data loaded. That's actually going to be data request. So we have two different things here that we'll talk about here. So first of all, is if I load a certain amount of data, I may want to just zoom in on a certain amount. And that's what we're talking about here. So let's say in Metastock, when we loaded, typically we load 1,250 records. That means here, if I say I'm going to zoom in on 250, I'll load 1250, but I'll only be showing when I first open up the chart 250. And that's what this setting is. I can also load maximum. So whatever is available, I can just see it all or, or the default. So that would be the the standard uh, load record. I can also set specific date ranges here if I wanted to. Uh, let's go ahead and minimize these that we've talked about them. Now, number of records, what this is is under the data request range is how much data I want to load. So the default is, as I said before, 1,250. Maximum is all the data that's available for that symbol, it will load up. And then if I only want to set a specific number, I just say 500 or 250 or 1000 or 8000, whatever you want to try and get, you can put that in here. Then again, you can set specific date ranges that you want to load, uh, but let's just go ahead and leave the default. Now I can set what time frame I want to load it. So I'm looking at Metastock RT here, so I can really load in whatever time frame I want, tick, one minute, five minute, 30 minute, hourly. Um, I can also set custom timeframes. If you're using Metastock DC or daily charts, you could do daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, or yearly. And then you could set custom timeframes. So uh, a two day chart, a two minute chart, whatever it is that you want to customize and load, you can set it there. Now templates are basically chart setups. So you can have them customized to load different indicators and colors and views and all these different things. And we'll get into templates in a further video. But uh, here you can easily change what it is that you want to load, uh, different views, uh, basically. The expert advisor will also get in uh, to later, but this will basically give you buys and sells based off of different criteria. So you can select from a range of experts. If I were to just select that, you can see these range of experts that will give you buy and sell signals on your charts. So let's go ahead and apply template to stick with smart chart and let's open up Best Buy. And when I open that up, it will load with all the custom settings that I selected in the Power Console. So keep watching for more information about how to actually work with the charts once we have them open. That's coming up in the next video. I hope you found this instructional and continue watching.